Uh, this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so we know right now there's a lot of confusion going on in the WBA. Tyson Fury has uh, been stripped. He's sitting out. Vladimir Klitschko was trying to get a fight with Joshua, allegedly. And he wanted the WBA title to be involved. Um, but he's going to be out. And then there was rumor that uh, it was going to be Joshua. Then it was going to be Lucas Brown. Now he's going to be out. Okay. Um, then I heard, I came out with a video yesterday. Ustinov and, and his his manager came out and said that uh, he believes Ustinov should fight Klitschko for the WBA title. The title that um, Fury vacated. A lot of stuff going on. Um, then there was another uh, video I dropped yesterday where Shannon Briggs on his verified official Instagram account came out with a video. And under the video, uh, he came out with a comment that said, uh, rumor has it that the WBA is going to order him and Lucas Brown. Rumor. It's a rumor, okay? So, the guy who names keeps coming up in all of this is Fred Kendall. And on my channel, I've said previously, I haven't heard from Fred Kendall. Um, but with social media, I mean, he's not going to be hard to find. And I went, the Instagram account I went to previously, it was an old Instagram account, but he's actually on Facebook. So I found out that he was on fake Facebook yesterday. It was late last night, but I decided to do the video today. And uh, if we're going to be fair about things and we're not going to go by who we like, because I like Luis Ortiz as a, just as a fan, he's just one of the newer guys as far as uh, making the division hot within the last year or so. Uh, he's one of the newer guys. You know what I mean? Um, we want to see guys like Luis Ortiz fight for the title and Fury and Klitschko. But when we take all that away and take away what you like in your personal feelings, the guy who I think deserves a title shot is Fred Kendo. And I'm going to break it down to you, okay? Um... And when, I, and when I say title shot, I mean for that regular WBA title. Not the title that Tyson Fury dropped, but for the regular title, Fred Zekendo deserves a title shot. I'm going to break it down, all right? Before I even start, man, Fred Zekendo's an OG in the game. Um, and a lot of his losses, to be honest with you, were all close losses. Pretty much for the most part. <laughs> like, evenly fought type of fights, man, based on his style. The uh, Oliver McCall fight. Um, the more mech fight, Chigaev, Holyfield, Bird. Uh, he did beat uh, Derek Rossi. I know he took away Clifford Atien's O, beat David Izon back in the day. Um, he got stopped by Ruiz in that fight. Uh, it was a close fight. It was the, you know close fight up until the stoppage. The Tua fight, he was actually winning up comfortably on the scorecards before Tua caught him. Uh, you know so. There's somebody else that, that, that he fought too that was a close decision. Was it James Tony? It was it's, it's somebody else. I can't remember everybody, but so he's been in some close fights, man, over the years, and he's an old vet, been in the game uh, for a while, man, long time. You know what I mean? So, but regardless of that, though, he fights Chigayev for a vacant WBA regular title, July sixth, two thousand and fourteen. Now credit to. Fred Kendo because he was smart enough to put a rematch clause in his contract. First, I was like, damn, a rematch clause for a vacant title? Maybe, I'm sure that's probably been done before, but I just don't remember. And if one of you have heard of that before, please leave it in my comment section. It's probably a fight, a familiar fight, but I just don't remember. But uh, yeah, he had, in his contract, he had a uh, clause for a rematch um, for the vacant WBA regular title so it was a close fight between him and Chigaev it could have went either way I watched that fight twice on YouTube it could have went either way to be honest with you okay so after that fight it was it was it was a nasty uh dispute and they had to go to court between Chigaev and and uh Freza Kendo Freza Kendo was trying to stop uh Chigaev from defending the title before he got his immediate rematch then Chigayev's side was claiming that Fraser Kendo failed a drug test. I mean, it got nasty, man. They had to go to court. Um, 
and I believe, you know, and uh, Frederick Kendall, they, you know, the court came to the conclusion that uh, he will get his uh, title shot. Okay. So then the the fight was set. The rematch was set for October seventeenth, two thousand fifteen. Um. Chigaev went on <clears throat> Chigaev went on to defend his title July eleventh, two thousand fifteen against uh Francisco Pianata, stretched him out in the first round. So he, you know, he did get to defend it, but at the same time, Frederick Kendall, when he gets back, will still get his uh shot at the title. But he was trying to not let Chigaev fight at all. My thing is just let the dude fight, you know, let him fight whoever he wants to fight. Um if you have a rematch clause, just make sure when you're ready, you get to come back and fight whoever has the title. You know, so the rematch was set for October 17, 2015. Chigaya still defended his title anyways, July 11, 2015 against Pianotti. Got him out of there, okay? Now, before the October 17, 2015 rematch, Frederick Kendo suffered a shoulder injury October 6, 2015 while he was sparring. So it forced him to withdraw from that fight. So, which I think is fair, Chigayev, you know, the WBA didn't uh, say, okay, you have to wait around and wait for him to get healed, and you can't defend your title. No, he went on to defend his title the next year, this year, March 3rd, 2016. He loses the title to Lucas Brown, okay? When Brown had the title, the Clint Buterol situation came out. They stripped him of that title. They reinstated Chigayev, Okay. It was getting time for Chigaya to make a, deci a decision about who he's going to fight next, which it was going to be Frederick Kendall because contractually he's still obligated to, when he comes back, fight whoever has the title. It's in the contract, his rematch clause, and the reason he hasn't been in the ring because he's been because he, he was injured. Okay. Chigaya decides to retire, and then Brown comes back. Uh, they uh. You know, after his suspension was over, it comes to find out that the WBA claims that uh, you know, he wasn't in the wrong for the Clan Butyrol, and he they feel as if he didn't willingly know that Clan Butyrol that he was ingesting uh, Clan Butyrol. Okay, so they reinstate him, and they tell him that they're gonna put him back in the top five of their rankings, which they did. And then they said that uh, he will get a shot at the regular WBA title. So now you have two fighters that feel obligated to get their shot at the WBA title. Okay. So then September 6th, the WBA ordered Brown versus Okendo for the regular WBA title. I believe, and they said that they have to fight within the next 120 days. That was on September 6th. Okay. I believe today, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, my, my math may be off a little bit, but I believe today is the 53-day mark. We haven't heard anything as far as a venue, nothing. Um, so then I went over to Frederick Kendall's Facebook, okay, when I figured out that he has a Facebook, because I just thought he had Twitter, and I just think, I didn't think he was active on it, but he does have a Facebook that I found. So I went on there and I did some research, okay? Now, when they ordered, on September 6th, when the WBA ordered Chig um, Brown versus Okendo, I say around September 10th, on his Facebook, he was in the gym. And you can go to his official Facebook page. Uh, I may just uh, leave the training cl clips at the end of this video, but if not, you go to his Facebook page, Fred Okendo, and you'll see his training clips him being in the gym in september uh the last post i believe i seen him he was he took a picture in the gym he was in the gym was october 23rd so a few days ago all right he also has clips of him in the gym working out working hard in august so and and uh, i just stopped right there I, I didn't go further than uh august so he's probably in the gym even months before that too but i know at the very least at the very least he's been in the gym since august at the very least okay and so from with all that 
that I found, Fred Kendo is low key working out and getting ready. Then I was reading the comments section to some of his uh, uh, pictures of him that he was post that he was posting on his Facebook, and there were fans and friends or whatever in his comments section asking him or telling him things like, "Yeah, you know, I can't wait for you to knock out the big Aussie, the Australian, the Aussie Lucas Brown." Um, one guy said, when is your next fight? And Fraser Kendo responded by saying, uh, not sure about the day yet, but just working hard. You can go to his Facebook and you'll see all these things. Okay. So, you know, I, I, I hate for fighters, man. You know, the, the fight game is tough, man, you know, and, uh, I don't like for fighters, man, to get, um, to get, you know, to not have promises hold up, man, because, you know, if you had this in your contract, let's just follow the contract, man. Just give this guy his uh, his WBA regular title shot, man. Boxing is already a dirty game. Let's not, you know, let's not make it worse by um, not having Fred in, in involved. I understand that he hasn't been in the ring since July 6th, 2014. You know what I mean? And next year, 2017, I mean, we're, we're going to be talking about going on three years or damn near two and a half years, you know. So, and I understand for some fans, a lot of fans out there that are thirsty to see Klitschko or Tease and, you know, I totally understand that, man. But as far as the regular WBA title goes, it should be Lucas Brown versus Fred Kendall. Whether we like it, whether we don't like it, it doesn't matter. WBA, man, just hold up your end of the bargain. Make the fight between Lucas Brown and Fred Kendo. I know I came out with the video with Shannon Briggs. Of course, I'd like to see Shannon Briggs fight Lucas, uh, Lucas Brown. I would love that. But if the you know if the roles were reversed and it was Shannon Briggs that was out and he was in Fred Kendo's shoes, I'll be saying the same thing. If it was David Hay in Fred Kendo's shoes and he was obligated to fight and it was in his contract, immediate you know uh, the rematch clause. Just honor it, man. Just honor it. Um, now, the only way that this won't go down, obviously, is if uh, Fred Kendall just says he doesn't want the fight. But if he wants the fight, let's just honor it. Now, where did Shannon Briggs get his rumor from? I'm not sure. So, again, I'm not sure what's... What's going on with Fred Kendo? But from just looking on his Facebook, he's been in the gym. He's been working out. He's answered fans and, uh, you know, people in his comment section of the pictures that he posts on his Facebook. That he's just waiting for a time and date and venue and all that type of shit. So that's the latest on Fred Kendo. If there's anything else that comes out now that I see that he has a Facebook um well, his official Facebook, because the one that I, the Twitter and the Facebook that I seen, it wasn't even his. I think they were old accounts, you know what I mean? But now that I have his new accounts, I can do a better job at uh, staying in tune with what he's doing. If he's in the gym, just what, you know, things that he's saying. I think I'm going to try to get him on for an interview, man. I'm going to try to reach out to him and get him on for an interview because I don't want to uh, misrepresent any fighter, man. So when you heard me in my last few videos about Fresno Kenner, when I mentioned him and I say, hey, man. Last time I seen him, he was in the ring um, in 2014, and then he was set to fight Chigaev in a rematch, and he got hurt, and I haven't seen him since. I was genuine about that, but I also didn't know, though, that he has been training this year. I didn't know that. I, I just thought, I didn't know what, I didn't know, because I was, there was no way to get uh, any type of footage from him at that moment in time when I was doing those videos, because I thought that his Facebook and Twitter just were not active, but they were not his official account. Um, who do you guys think will win this fight between Fred Kendo and Lucas Brown, man? Fred Kendo has a knack. He has a knack for making fights very ugly, man. He can, he he can get you, you know, to follow him around a little bit. Then he'll land on you, then hold you, then push you, then mix it up with you, then move around again. I mean, he just has this real tricky style that can uh, get you in a twilight zone, man. And it'll turn in the next thing you know. It'll be the 12th round, and you don't even know if you won the fight over him or not. Or not. I mean, he is a tricky guy to fight, even at his uh, advanced age. You know what I mean? But uh, 
just getting this video out there, man. Um, I think Frederick Kendall deserves his title shot, and I'm going to stand by that. Unless he doesn't want it, he deserves the title shot because of his contract for the regular uh, WBA title. So now as far as the title that Fury dropped, that's the title I want to see as of this as, as of right now. You know, I, I like to see guys like the same guys you want to see fight for that title. Ortiz, Klitschko, you know, those, that's who I want to see fight for that title. I know Yusinov is highly rated, um, but I gave my opinion about Yusinov, man. I just don't, if from in my opinion, I just don't feel that uh, according, like I said, you know, according to Luis Ortiz, team uh they didn't fight Yusinov because Yusinov wouldn't sign off on VADA testing and in my opinion if you're not going to sign up for VADA testing to fight Ortiz then he says okay well I'm just going to move on because you're not going to sign up for VADA Ortiz is willing to do it and then once Ortiz moves on I don't believe Yusinov should just move on to the fight for that title that Fury dropped because he has a number three ranking next to him I know I, I don't I don't believe that man I think Yusinov still needs to fight in some type of eliminator fight. I don't care that Ortiz, okay, well then, if Ortiz, if he beats Malik Scott, um, then Yusinov should try to renegotiate with Ortiz again and take Vada. If not, get the hell out the way. Just my opinion on the man, I, you know, Yusinov is an Asian fighter, and I'm sure he's just waiting for the price to be right so he can step in the ring, and he wants everything to be right, which, you know, he wants a title shot, and he wants the right money. He's, you know, he's an aging guy, man. So I, I understand his, uh, his, his tactics in this, but uh, I don't know, man. I just, I just don't think you should just move on and, you know, just pretend like nothing happened, because uh, you didn't want to sign up for a test. Now, does this mean that Yusinov is dirty? Does it prove that he's dirty? No, it doesn't prove it that he's dirty. A, uh, a dirty test coming back proves that you're dirty. You know, concrete, but um. It does make me scratch my head a little bit. Whenever a fighter say, nah, I don't want to take no tests, it makes me scratch my head a little bit. Even if they're being a diva about it, and it still makes me scratch my head a little bit. It's one thing to be a diva for the first two weeks and then say, okay, I'll take the test. And there's one thing to just say, I'm just not taking it at all. You know what I mean? But um, I haven't heard Yusinov and his size rebuttal that, debunk that, or come out and say something against that. I heard that information um, but I believe the guy's name is Jimenez, his last name. But it was a guy from the uh, uh, the Ortiz camp. I just forget his name. But you can type it in Google and, it, and, it, and it'll pop up. Speaking of Google, <clears throat> that's another thing. Back to Fred Kendall. When I was looking him up, man, and you put his name in Google, the last few months I've been putting his name in Google, and nothing pops up as far as articles. The last article I've seen was like a boxing scene article from March 7th. You know what I mean? So... But he is on Facebook, and uh, I will be keeping up on Fred Kendo and try to inform you guys what's going to go on because I do, you know, Fred Kendo is still rated. The WBA has not dropped him from their ratings. He is still rated high by the uh, WBA. So let's not forget about Fred Kendo as far as, you know, these fights, you know, with Lucas Brown and all these other guys we named. Fred Kendo is a name we just can't sweep under the rug because you don't want to see him fight in certain fights. Give Frederick Kendall his title shot, WBA. I'm out.